Hello, okay, today I have another strength and conditioning workout for you to follow. Uh, it's a 10 minute body weight workout, so no gym, no excuses. Uh, beginners, one round, everyone else, two to three rounds with two to three minutes rest and recovery in between. Uh, if you're following online, if you're an online client, then just uh, complete your bespoke plan schedule. Uh, you should be progressing nicely now. Uh, so let's do it. First exercise is going to be uh, jogging on the spot, but we're going to incorporate an interval within the interval. So let's do it. Go! Balls of the feet, low impact, ankling system, so you're not slamming. We are going to do 10 high knee, uh, 10 jogging on the spot, followed by six high knees. Sprint. And repeat. Nice and upright, low impact. Eight, nine, ten. Now it doesn't have to be exactly ten and six, whatever feels more natural. The idea is a jog, sprint. Nine, ten. Keep sprinting. Well done. So I'm sure the uh, more experienced amongst you will have done interval training before. Idea there is jog sprint, also gets uh, that pulse raised, nice and warm, it's a good starting exercise. So our next exercise is going to be the push up. 40 seconds is quite Go. challenging, challenging upper body core strength exercise. So you can open the legs up for a little bit more body assistance. Closer together makes it a little bit more challenging. Again, if online clients should be ready for this by now, should be uh, progressing to your full, full 40 seconds. Nice and consistent, aligned. If you're struggling a little bit, drop down. Every rep the same. You're better off taking a little rest, there's no shame in it. Rest. As opposed to pushing on with bad form and hurting yourself. Just common sense, really. Most people are driven by ego. So our next exercise is a lateral movement. We're going to do a lateral lunge. Primal movement, push, pull, squat, lunge, hinge. Go. So I'm going to start with feet together. Step out to my right. I'm twisting or pushing that knee out. Nice hinge, chin forward, push the glutes, which is your butt back. And alternate. One, two. Lateral movement, feel your adductor stretch. Body moves back and forth, side to side, it rotates, so that's how we train it, making it functional strength and conditioning, burning fat, building strength and muscle, improving mobility and agility, removing uh, imbalances, aches and pains, yes. well done. So our next exercise we are going to uh, return to the plank. So if you're a newbie, new here, starting out, just isometric hold, standard push-up plank, 40 seconds. That's going to be uh, challenging enough. Again, rest if you need to, back up. Online, we're going to go for this uh, low plank now. Same principle with that alignment. Nice horizontal line from head to glutes. If you need to, just take a second, back up, feet together, more challenging, isometric, you may feel that shake, that's a good thing, isometric training, static hold, movement, uh, as opposed to movement training, so it incorporates you to rest, activate nearly all your muscle units, that's why you're shaking, uh, and that's usually quite a difficult thing to do, so the balance and variation of all these different training systems alongside the primal movement. <sighs> Maximum results in the minimum time. So we're going to move on to uh, conditioning star jumps, jumping jack, balls of the feet. One, two, one, two. <sighs> Body weight, you dictate the tempo. So you can do a 60 in 40 seconds. Or you could do 20. 40 seconds. The idea is keep moving. Make it a little 
little bit more challenging. You can squat down, reach for the heels. One, two. One, two. One, two. I'd like to throw in a few progressions. Rest. Well done. So yeah, we like progress. But as mentioned, online guys, you'll have your bespoke plan progressing nicely for you. So just stick with that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the hinge. One-legged hinge, unilateral. So I'm going to put the weight onto the heel, grip with my toes, posture alignment, aligned, pelvis, navel, hinge. Not rounding, keeping that alignment. That's what's helping me stabilise. Compose, repeat. We're not actually looking for depth at the moment. Even just past the knee is fine. Just getting used to that hinge technique, single leg hinge technique. Once you feel a bit more confident, a bit more stronger, more stable. But again, consistent. Not rounding. Rest. Lower back. Hinge aligned. Well done. So we're going to move on to a renegade row, rowing exercise, again from that push-up plank position. Then we'll come back up and do the hinge on the right leg. So back to our push-up plank. Again, open up. Go. Body assistance. So I'm going to push down the right, pull up the left, pull in exercise, and I'm going to rotate. Alternate. Row. Rotation. Row. Rotation. Again, no pressure on that lower back. Rest. Repeat. One more. Rest. Well done. So we're coming back up to that right, uh, right legged hinge, unilateral training, no escaping that connected chain. Find out where their imbalances are. I uh, usually work, use the weaker side first, that was my left. So again, you want flat shoes really, then big chunky things. Go. They basically encourage you to heel strike when you're running, which is not what you want to do anyway. So I'm keeping that knee locked, and a slight bend to get a little bit lower, but that alignment remains. Otherwise you're just squatting, as opposed to hinging. Put down, compose, reset, align, repeat. And again, eventually, you get almost to a one-legged toe touch. Pick a spot on the horizon. Rest. This is my counterbalance. Good job. Now, if you're struggling with them, persevere, stick with it. Check out the tutorials, they're not easy. So our next exercise is the bicycle abs. You very rarely do much Go. ab crunches, uh, many ab crunching variations. So we're going to sit up again. The one we do do is this Russian twist. Good alignment, rotation. So all I'm going to do, right elbow, left knee, alternate. The rest of us feet up. So you've got your modification. Keep that chin up away from the chest, not rounding. Nice and upright. Almost like a cycling technique, bicycle abs. Opposites. Right elbow, left knee. Rest. Again, put the pace up. Nice and consistent. Well done, great job. Now hit, uh, isolate those abs. So, uh, so yeah, we do throw a, throw a few isolated exercises in. So our final exercise is the burpee. Finish this workout, finish this round. Standard. One, two, three. Let's get the camera. One, two, add a jump. Balls to the feet again, low impact. And the rest of us push up and jump. Which is called a bastard, I believe. So big finish, 
Stay with me. Keep pushing. Nice and consistent. Every rep the same. Breathing is controlled. Last one. Rest. Well done. So, a little bit of high conditioning there to finish our strength and conditioning round. So, as mentioned, you can now have the option to rest one to two minutes and repeat up to... Thank you. There you go. Yeah, so rest, recover, repeat up to twice more. Or as mentioned online, guys, you just follow uh, your bespoke plans. So that is it for me this week. I'm off for a cool down. Don't forget your warm up and cool downs. Uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about training systems and uh, why not sign up because you can claim your free health and living guide that's got my exclusive uh, meal plan, exclusive blueprint on how to stay fit, healthy and in shape all year round that doesn't involve those soul destroying diets. We don't diet. Sustain sustainable, healthy, balanced nutrition alongside regular exercise. That's the way to, that's the way to go. So uh, I'll see you next time. Anybody can do it.